welcome back to Game Maker Studio 2 Space Invaders tutorial series. Today we will be adding the blockades or covers to provide a safe place for our player to hide. Okay, so let's get started. To get started, we are going to add another sprite and object. I'm going to make this a plain box, but you can make yours whatever you want. Or decorate yours. I'm also going to name it this cover. We're gonna, we're also going to make sure that it covers the whole area of the spread editor so we can fit evenly when we place it in the actual room. Evenly. Yeah. Okay. That was monkey. Okay, so I'm just going to make my box. And there we go. And there we go. Next, we will create, put it as an object, like we did before. Cover, and then we'll set the sprite to the cover. And then we're gonna open it in the create event in this, and we're gonna set a variable to equal for it's like how many hits it's taken or how many hits it takes until it breaks which is basically it's health but we can't put health because as you can see that's a built-in variable okay so I'm just gonna set it to 4 so that's how many hits it takes to destroy and now let's create the step event and here, all we're gonna do for now is set, let's type this, if, oops, if HP is less, less than or equal to zero, then then instance underscore destroy and what that's gonna do is gonna it's gonna destroy the object when HP is less than or equal to zero so I will basically have to probably hit it like four times finally before we move on to animations like in the real game where it kind of deteriorates we're gonna create another event a collision event with the bullet collision event with the bullet. In here, we're going to put the code HP is equal to HP minus one, which is going to subtract the, which is going to subtract the health from the thing. So when it collides, the boss will lose one health. And now let's put the boxes into the room now. You can choose your own layout but I'm going to choose the layout I'm going to choose right here where it's kind of like square around the player as you can see I'm, I that's why the reason why uh, we needed to fill the whole thing is so it was evenly if it was smaller it wouldn't fit it would kind of be like there kind of I just wouldn't be look good. So it's just going to do this. And I can probably fit one more in here. Hmm. Close enough. Well, Okay, so as you can see, I'm just doing like a little cover area. Um, now, if we run it, we can see that it should take four bullets to destroy it. But the problem is, wait, what? Oh, yeah. The problem 
is that it just keeps going through it and running the code where it takes one hit point away from the box and it keeps doing that over and over and over and over every time it collides because it just keeps going it doesn't stop after that one hit so it just takes one bullet when it should take four so to fix this we're going to want to put in this line of code in here in the collision with the other object it's going to also destroy it instance destroy oops and there we go so now it should it will say the other object that it should destroy itself and now if we run it it should take four the one two three four but you don't know how much health it has or how much how little health it has because it doesn't tell you it just disappears and you don't know what's happening so to make this even closer to the real game we can create some animations first we go to the sprite and add as many frames as we have HP for our box. Since I have four, I will need three more. So one, two, three, four. To add a frame and make this animation, I'm just going to copy and paste the first frame and then on the three last ones, I'll erase a little more and more. Copy, paste, paste, paste. And now here, let's go to edit, and erase it and go whoosh, 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 whoosh. And then just erase a little bit for the first one. Go here, erase more. If you want, you can just copy this paste it in and then add on to it and you make your own however you want really I'm not very yeah um, so now yeah so now we have the animations all we have to do now is to we have to we can't forget to set the frames per second, so speed to zero. And then for our last few lines of code, up down here. In the step, we're going to write out if HP. HP is equal to 3, then this is a new thing image underscore index equals 1. So that's going to set the image animation frame. So it's going to start, this is 0, 1, 2, 3. It's going to go to 1. Yeah, and then copy and paste this increasing it up to the amount we have see the frames which was three because the first frame is zero yeah wait no we only need that because the first frame was zero also we have to decrease the amount of HP down to two down to zero now if we yep so two three and then two one and then zero will break it. Now, if you want to, we can see the animation and how it breaks when it has zero HP. See? Goes down a little bit, breaks more, and then breaks more until it finally breaks. So now it looks cool because you can see exactly how broken it is, which is pretty cool. And then yeah, so that's all it. F that is all for now. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe. 
and next time we'll be putting in the long-awaited enemies. See you next time. Bye.